to Hurricane Irma. You've heard this already. It could be the costliest, but also the most damaging in U.S. history. Right now, as you see, let me give you some stats here. It is currently 65 miles north-northeast of the Dominican Republic. It is 70 miles southeast of Grand Turk Island in the Turks and Caicos. It is moving now at 16 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 175 miles per hour. This deadly storm all but destroying this island called Barbuda. You may not have heard of it. It's not Barbados. It's not Bermuda. It's tiny. It's Barbuda. Officials there saying, and look at these aerials that we just got. The island is now uninhabitable. Nearly every single standing structure wiped off. This after the Category 5 storm's wrath. Hurricane Watch is now in effect. Now remember, Watch is sort of, it could be coming. Warning is, it's, it's right there. Watches, even though we're pretty sure it's going to really smack into southern Florida, Florida Keys. We knew that yesterday, but thousands and thousands make it 31,000 residents trying to get out of the Keys starting yesterday. Most of them have indeed made it, but other counties now in southern Florida are under mandatory evacuation orders. Palm Beach got one about two hours ago. Miami Beach is one of the areas that is really struggling right now to prepare for the worst. This is a, a dense populated area and they need to all get north at the moment because there is a threat of a 16 to 20 foot plus storm surge that Mayor Philip Levine is warning could envelop his entire seven mile long, one mile wide tourist hotspot. This of course threatens lives of anybody who refuses to leave the barrier island. Mayor Levine joins us now on the phone. Mayor First, how are you doing? Are you okay? And are you getting what you need to get done? Yes, we are. And obviously, we've been preparing for a few days now in anticipation of this storm. Uh, the evacuation is going smoothly. Uh, I started telling residents and visitors about three days ago that they must leave Miami Beach, even though it's not a mandatory What are they saying to you about that, Mayor? Uh, we, we've had some reporters on the ground saying, I, I see you're putting sand in sandbags, and then will you leave? And they give sort of a shy smile, and they say, well, not yeah. exactly. Well, I think now they understand how serious this is. I've gone out there as aggressively as possible. It's mandatory, and, uh, and we know they need to leave. We've been working with our homeless community, our seniors, our special needs people. We're providing buses, trolleys to make sure that they can get off and get to our shelters, which are not located on Miami Beach. They're located in greater Miami-Dade County. So it's been an aggressive campaign with social media, TV. We're warning them mm -hmm. this is so severe. At a certain point, as this storm hits, our first responders will no longer be available to help anybody. They'll be on their own. Exactly. That's not a place you want to be. And but this is a, listen, we don't want heroes. We want to save lives. And you have been quoted as saying this is a nuclear storm. People in Key West, and there are a lot of retirees there, started moving out yesterday, but they thought they might be okay moving up to Miami, and they're in hotels. Now they can't really move. What are you going to do? Is there anything you can do to help them? Well, the most important thing is for them to seek one of the shelters. Dade County has multiple shelters all over. We even have shelters where if you have pets, you can go into a shelter with a pet. These are hardened facilities that can withstand a hurricane. So the information has been out there. We're aggressively pushing it out. They should go into a shelter unless they have a place that they're comfortable and feel safe. But as far as Miami Beach is concerned, we need everybody off the beach. You'll see right now, I'm, I'm on the streets of Miami Beach. It's becoming quieter. There's less cars, less people. Mm -hmm. They're listening. Uh, buildings are actually shutting off their power, their air conditioning, their water, and that's quite an incentive yeah, for to folks get to leave their condominium buildings. Uh, really quickly, what about fuel? There is word that there are some fuel shortages uh, all the way up to Sarasota. I, I, I'm just wondering if you can get fuel in there or have you just stopped yeah. people from now coming south? They've got to go north. I heard a four-hour drive on uh, I-95 out of Miami is taking eight hours. We understand that there is significant traffic out of Miami. I can tell you this. Leaving Miami Beach now, it's very, very fluid. There's not a tremendous amount of traffic. People are listening. They started a few days ago. But as you said, and I agree, there are fuel shortages around the state. The governor, I understand, is working on that, talking to the fuel companies, making sure that they re-deliver mm -hmm. uh, as needed.